Robert Dempsey with the Itinerant Entrepreneur at BuildMeAnEmpire.com. And today I wanted to do a quick video run through to show you an application that, you know, if you've been reading the blog, you know that I love and I've been using quite extensively for connecting, really finding more people that I can connect with on Twitter in three categories. The leads, right? so potential leads, so we're talking business here, folks, leads, supporters, and influencers. And one of the ways that I've been doing that is using this tool, Communit, right here. Now, full disclaimer again, I'm helping these folks with their marketing just because I became a, a user of the application, a beta user, it's still in beta. Uh, they got me in there and right, I mean, pretty much immediately when I started using it, I knew that, that this tool was very powerful for using Twitter for business to business. And so I just wanted to give you a quick run through to show you what it is all about. So without further ado, I'm going to log in here and we will uh, get going with it. So yeah, pretty easy stuff, just like with anything, right? You log in. It's a web-based application, so you can access it from anywhere. Now, right when you log in, you hit this community. It says your community dashboard, but it's really your dashboard. And when they say community, what they mean is your community on Twitter. And you'll notice here too, and uh, you've seen probably seen some screenshots in some of my blog posts of this. The first thing that you hit is the recent and prioritized. And one of the great things too about Communit is the number one is very easy to use, the very clean interface, but they really help you out and explain what the what the different parts of the tool are. So for instance, over here in the right hand column, we can see recent prioritized and explanation. This feed allows you to focus on your most important and relevant members. You'll see people that may be important to you as judged by your engagement history and their influence level and have engaged with you in three days. Now, by default, everything within Communit, when you first come in, it defaults to three days here. There are more filters up at the top, so you have three days. You can look at the past three hours, so really up-to-date stuff. and Or you can look at all, so across all time. And it also tells you over here when the application last updated, uh, looking at your community. Pretty cool stuff. So, recent and prioritized comes into play. You can see a quick, uh, you know, the picture of the person. You can see their name, how many followers. You can star them. You can hide them so they'll be hidden from all lists. And you can unfollow. Now, one of the things I do want to mention here is the community is not meant to be used as a Twitter client. So it's not the kind of thing where you have a continuous stream of you know everything that's coming in from Twitter from all of your followers. This is really to, for me at least, the way that I've been using it, I come in, I look at the most up-to-date information, I begin it as my research point. So like Kim here, for instance, is starred and I'm lining up a time to talk with Kim. That's why she is starred as well, and she's also in one of my Triber. Tribe's another tool that I've talked about. But here we can click on the person. You see, okay, here's her URL, her Twitter handle, the relevant Twitter information profile. You can also see which list that Kim here has been put into. Uh, so she's under influencers, star members, and supporters. Now she's following me. I'm following her. If I wanted to, I could send a mention to uh, directly to Kim. So I click that, right? So it's ask uh, to add, ask Kim right there. Or I could send her a direct message. So uh, you know, I can initiate contact in one way or another through here. But again, this isn't a fully featured Twitter client, so don't want to um, <clears throat> get you thinking that it is because it really isn't, and I don't think they're they're trying to be. Again, we're really focused on building those high-value relationships with potential leads, supporters, and influencers inside of our Twitter community. So another cool thing here, though, uh, is this part right here, recent engagements. And this is very cool because we can see, for instance, that with Kim, she has mentioned me twice, she's replied once, she's retweeted me 62 times, Thank you, Triber, for that. And we've had two direct messages. So that's but from her contact to me. Now, for me, I mentioned her once. I've replied once. I've had 41. I've retweeted her content 40, 
41 times, excuse me, and we've had two direct messages. So you can see the engagement with that person, and that is really powerful because in Twitter, if you go to twitter.com, you can't really see all this information. It's not compiled. So this uh, tool, Communit, really helps you to know exactly the level of engagement that you have with a particular person on Twitter, which is extremely important. So I want to give you a quick overview just to show you, again, the, all the features of the application. So that's Reason and Prioritize. Now, any of these other uh, items that you come into under the Build Relationships category, Build Awareness, Discover Leads, Manage, all of this thing, you have access to the same information. But the power of this is that it categorizes these folks for you based on certain criteria. So if we go into supporters here, we can see the definition of supporters are people that help you spread the word by retweeting your statuses, sharing links to your content, um, as opposed to fans, they seldom directly engage. So not too much back and forth conversation, but these are folks that are sharing your content. So right here we can see I have a number of supporters listed. Now this is something that I think is important also for keeping Communit up to date and keeping the content fresh. First off, Communit works when you have a Twitter community already. So if you already have, say, a few hundred people and you're constantly working to build your Twitter community, so not only people uh, that you follow, or sorry, uh, you know, you're know, you following people, people are following you back. The more that you are doing that, the better community will help you because it constantly is updating based on your current Twitter community. So continuing to build that Twitter community proactively is very important. And that's when we get into tools like TweetSpinner and Triber, which I've talked about in previous blog posts. So another thing here too is that to keep the information inside of community fresh, as well. Let's say that, okay, for instance, let's take Sheila here. Now, Sheila is a great lady. She's helping her customers get into the mobile space, uh, particularly, well, I'll leave, I'll leave her uh, pitch up to her, but it's really exciting what she's doing. Now, I got a chance to talk with Sheila on uh, online uh, via Skype the other day. It was a fantastic conversation. If you can speak with her, highly recommended. Great lady. And so now that Sheila and I have talked, I know that she's a supporter. I know that she is uh, helping to, to spread my word, so to speak, if you will. She's commenting on my blog. So I already know that. So I take a mental note. So now what I do is I actually hide Sheila because now I know that she is a supporter and I see she's under most engaged members. But I again, I need to keep this content uh, or keep community fresh for me. So I can see this. So if the, for supporters, I think you can keep, uh, you don't necessarily have to hide members for supporters and influencers, unless you're really starting to take a different direction uh, inside of Twitter. So for instance, I had a web development company. I closed that down. I sold the last of my online applications and finally made the transition to marketing. So for me, Supporters and influencers are going to change over time. Now, granted, this is coming up with the last, you know, who are your last three days of supporters. If you see somebody showing up again and again, though, continuously, then you might want to hide that member. Now, this is particularly pertinent for this part right here, leads by mention, because leads go beyond just a, a person that is supporting or a potential influencer. These are people that could potentially be your customers based on criteria, folks that you want to know. So what I like to do is I'll go through the leads by mention and once I have actually done the research on the person, so what that means is, let's take Skip here. I've recently uh, found Skip here online. So Skip is says he's not following me, but he did retweet uh, one of the, the posts that I have. Now, this could update later and you know, Skip could be following me, but regardless of whether someone's following me or not, I might want to know more about Skip. So I would open up his Twitter profile. I would find his website if he has one. If it looks like there might be a match there, I would start building the relationship, uh, initiate contact, ask for a call, all of that kind of thing. So basically my my modus operandi, if you will, for uh, building community as I do. 
So once I have done that though, what I would do is I would come into community here and I would hide this member so that he would kind of fall off the radar in terms of community, but I would have him on another radar uh, outside of community. And in this way, it can keep community fresh, the, the information really fresh inside of community. And also hide, uh, hide skip from that. So very cool, again, you know, the three categories, building relationships, so we look at the most engaged members, we look at starred people, so you can star folks, uh, so those would be, depending on, you know, how you want to do it, like I have Erica Allison here, a very, another great lady, had a chance to talk with her on Skype, great blog at allisondevelopmentgroup.com forward slash blog, so, uh, you know, for starred members, I might now take her out of my starred members now that she and I have spoken and we're building a relationship. I no longer need Communit to help me manage that relationship. It's already, uh, it's already established there. So I might hide Erica after that. So we have building relationships, build awareness. We can see supporters. We can see influencers. And then discover leads by mention. By keyword also, I just want to show this really quick. Uh, the leads by keyword. So Communit lets you monitor a website for mentions and it also lets you monitor keywords. Now within my target market I'm looking for business consultants. I'm also looking for people that talk about online marketing. It's what I do. I'm not sharing anything hidden or secret information here. I think it's kind of obvious that these are the folks, some of the folks that I am looking for, part of some of the folks I'm looking for. But regardless, this monitor websites is very cool because you can have, I think by default, they give you uh, two websites. Yeah, right here it says they have two websites. But what will happen and what you will find is that people on Twitter may retweet your stuff. They may share a link, but they won't mention you. Uh, this issue comes into play when you're using an app like Buffer, where Buffer does not actually create a retweet, but people can share your content. Now, how are you going to know on Twitter if they are sharing your content unless you are monitoring either A, you know, every blog post that you put out, which can get insane pretty quickly, or you have a tool like Communit looking, uh, watching out for you. And so if you have multiple websites, Right now, it's uh, a limit of two, but if you have that, then what it'll do is it'll look uh, inside of your Twitter community to see, or just generally on Twitter, who has mentioned or shared a link to your website but did not mention you by name. And I've found quite a number of people that I now follow and I have started building relationships with that mentioned my a blog post of mine but did not mention me. And with more tools coming out, I think this feature right there is more and more important to have, uh, especially when you're using Twitter proactively to build relationships, which I think, frankly, is really the only way to go. Now, they do have some uh, management here, so new followers, new unfollowers. They give you people, actually, that you might want to consider unfollowing. I think that's a, that's a pretty interesting bit right there, and you can unfollow people uh, if you like. Uh, they said basically, you know, these are people low engagement with you, low level of influence within your Twitter community, mind you. Everything is within uh, that community right there. So that, um, for me though, the way that I'm using it, I use TweetSpinner and uh, another set of criteria to unfollow folks as well. But again, the thing with community here is that it's really, the goal of it is really to... Uh, as it says right here, you know, dramatically improve the way you manage the relationships with your Twitter community. And what that means for me is actually using Twitter for business highly effectively, using a tool like Community to help find those high value relationships, people, so potential lead supporters and influencers within your Twitter community. And so that is an overview of Communit. I do have invites available if someone is interested. And now before you do ask me for an invite for Communit, I do want to say that uh, in my opinion, and I think based on the conversations that I've had with the Communit team, Communit is really for people that are already using Twitter. So if you're brand new to Twitter, I don't think you'll get the value out of it. If you have, say, um, you know, hundreds to thousands of followers, then you can absolutely get value out of community. And it can start uh, really helping you to find even more people within your community 
that you want to connect with. So if you have, you know, into the upper hundreds to you know the thousands or more <laughs> of followers, then community is good. Leave a comment on the blog post where you'll find this video. Uh, at yeah, if you want to invite, just let me know, or you can direct message me, or you know, send me a you know, ping me on Twitter or Facebook or wherever. Either way, if you want an invite, let me know, and I will get you hooked up. And so that is Communit, my friends. And again, I am Robert Dempsey with the Itinerant Entrepreneur at BuildMeAnEmpire.com. Thank you for your time today, and I will talk with you next time. Bye-bye.